12 Battery Street. Uh, petitioner Mark Little seeking to construct a roof deck on the existing 55 foot structure. Good evening. Thanks for uh, letting us come and listen to our uh, project. Um, my name is Kevin Malloy. I'm with Greylock Roofing. This is Alex Hathaway. He's from Immediate Management. And this is Lauren Nomeyer from Greylock Roofing. She's a project manager. We were contracted to remove the roof at uh, 812 Battery Street. And doing that, we had to take off the existing deck. The existing deck was built without a permit. And uh, we're going through the process now to, to put a new deck back on the, uh, back up on the roof in the same footprint as the existing. Um, I think we've passed out drawings for everybody. We've got copies of them here. Pass around, but we would invite anybody to come take a look at them. Um, so, what we're working on doing is applying for a variance essentially just to build a deck in a place where the city of Boston never considered there to have been a permanent roof deck. Um, so, like Kevin said, it's going to be the same footprint in the same location as the old deck. The height's going to be exactly the same, um, won't be visible from the street. We've um, the original deck uh, was. <coughs> just sitting on the deck. Uh, Massachusetts State Code requires that the new deck be anchored into the structure itself. So what we're doing, we're utilizing both penthouses uh, to, hold, to uh, anchor the deck into the penthouses itself so we don't penetrate the new roof. Um, if we had to penetrate the new roof, we, that would end up taking ceilings down in the tenant's space in order to uh, beef up the structure for the deck itself. This way we we're able to utilize both penthouses and to attach the new deck to the penthouses. The, the new deck is approximately uh, 10, to, 10 to 12 feet from the edge of the roof. You cannot see the, the new deck from the street. The contract is set for architects to design this deck for everyone. Um, Advocates contractors have been hired construct the deck itself, so Greylock is sort of acting as a general contractor. He will in this scenario work the intermediary to go between between the neighborhood associations, the residents, and our subcontractors, working to make sure everyone's happy with this. So, who built the deck illegally? We're not sure who built the deck. So that came with the that came with the property. The deck was already there. That's correct. When, Actually, when yeah. we were contracted out to do the roof, we had to take the deck off to do the new roof. So. Um, this is Chuck Roselli. He is uh, a trustee at 812 Battery Street. Oh, so it's a condo building? Yes, yes that's correct. It's a, it's a condo. So, so the deck was already there? The deck was already there. It was actually built. It was built in 1993. I've actually, I've, I've lived in the North End for going on 18 years okay. now. I've been in the building 18 years. I've been a trustee almost 17 years. That The original roof deck was built in 1993, and it was on concrete. So all we're doing is, because we got a new roof recently, we took off the old roof deck and are putting on a new one. And this one, we're, we're doing it the right way. <coughs> and you're not required to have to resubmit entirely from the beginning? To yes, the we have. That's, up there? that's what we're doing. Oh, yes. yeah. um, so we've already submitted an application to the building okay. department, ISD. Um, that, in turn, was rejected automatically because it's got to go to the right. neighborhood associations and then go through that process. So once we meet with the neighborhood associations, assuming we get approval, we'll go before the Zoning Board of Appeals. Our permit application will be resubmitted to ISD. And then, with any luck, we should have this roof deck on by Christmas. Cool. Is this a common roof deck for a condo? Or yes, or is correct. Yeah. Yeah, common roof deck for all 19 units. Correct. And the condo association, I'm sorry, one second. The condo association does have rules as to who can use the roof deck, during what hours, what can transpire up there, keeping noise volumes down. What are the rules? Yeah. We can, uh, we're happy to submit a copy of them if you like. Um, the, the rules have to do with noise levels, um, how many people are allowed up there, when people have to be off, you know, no horseplay. Um, they're just the typical sort of rules you'd expect on a roof deck. If you need a copy of them, you can submit them to the board. Yeah. If you, if you were to mind. And did you have a question? Um, yes. I, in the day, I lived there. I lived in 12. Long before, there's two buildings. That roof deck spans both buildings? Correct. 
and how far is it from Battery Street? Okay. Approximately 10 to 12 feet from Going Battery back. Street. Correct. Right. Going back. Okay. You had your butters. I'm sorry. Did you read the city's okay. uh, You had your butters end of August, right? And there was no. Yes. Correct. Okay. We have maybe 10 people. I think the majority of the questions that we got were just trying to understand the process that we're going through. The one of the things we had, I think it was already said, but the original roof deck that was built in 1993 that was completely unpermitted was literally just sitting on the roof. I was probably into 1993. I, I think there were a couple, right? I think there was one. I was there in 1962. Okay. Okay, so it was prior to any roof decks or anything else. I think I think they're just sitting on top of the not secured down. Yeah, it's called. Exactly. Uh, they, <laughs> a lot yeah, of they basically put a post into a piece of, uh, you know, like they call it a sleeper. Uh, we are sleeper street, but it's at like the same a, time, a it's a pad. It Correct to help distribute. So when I was when I was getting the uh, when I had the roof inspected by the building inspector Brian Moxley, he looked around. And he said, "Well, ninety percent of these decks are probably illegal. So most of the decks around there are probably illegal. So when they do replace the roof, probably if they want another one, they'll probably be in front of you for what? Right yeah. Here. Unfortunately, probably well, you get that. <laughs> try to yeah. do it the right way. Yeah. And hopefully that works out. Well, any other questions from the council or audience? Any history of noise complaints? I would say in the almost 18 years I've lived there, we've had several. You know, there are times when you did always have called me and said, geez, there was a party that was a little loud last night, and we always address it. I can probably say in 18 years, I can count on one hand the number of complaints we've had. And we always address it with the, with the unit owner and the tenant right away. And you know we have rules in place to hold the unit owner responsible. So one of our rules that you'll see when we send them to you is that if there if they were, it's, it's never been a case where there's been damage, but if there were damage up there, we're always going to hold the unit owner responsible, who in turn can hold the tenant responsible. You know? and, and also the association um, engaged in the management to perform property management services, so they're also responsible for enforcing those rules. What's the building comprised of students, working professionals? No, not, uh, I don't think there are any students. It's all probably people my age, a little younger. <coughs> We've got some more mature people in the building. I, if I had to ballpark the ages, I would say 28 to late 60s. I don't think we have any students. Absolutely not. We had one person who tried to do it several years ago, and we got right on it. Thank you. And, and it's again just really important to mention that this is no change from what was there before. It is simply an improvement, um, one that is now mechanically fastened, in the sense it's proposed to what was there before, which was just resting on the top. Questions, then the council can vote and pass their uh, votes down to John. So, thank you guys very much. Our pleasure. Thanks for the opportunity.